Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the blog series using Django and React.js. In this one, we'll get started setting up the front end templates and pretty much showing all the visual things that we'll be using to actually integrate or communicate with the API in this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. I want you to begin by opening up your code editor. And this is what we currently have. Now, if you want, you could get rid of this. If you want, you could still leave it where it is. But I'm going to go ahead and delete my whole folder. So delete all that. Now, hopefully you already know that we don't actually focus on building the front end. We do that behind the scenes and just focus on integrating the main part of the course because this is not a beginner's guide to bootstrap tutorial. It's instead a React JS tutorial. So instead of building all the cool UI thing on, on camera, I usually do that behind the scenes. Then I just bring in the code, which is the raw code. I don't have any React um, function or anything. Then I then we start implementing the logic together. In case you don't understand, let me show you what I mean. So this is core. This is index JSX. And you can see this code over here. This is pure JSX, no functionality, just a lot of divs and paragraphs. And if you know HTML, if you know HTML and CSS, I believe this shouldn't be any problem for you. You should already understand what is going on just by looking at this code. It's all dummy data. You can see we are returning dummy data over here. Nothing is dynamic. We are not making any calls to any API, just raw front end. I hope that makes sense. So the very first thing that I want us to do is firstly, we need bootstrap. Without bootstrap, we won't be able to, we won't be able to actually work. So for us to get bootstrap, I want you to open up front end and I want you to open up public. Um, actually, I don't think it's public. Index HTML instead, that is what it is. And I want you to copy everything that we have in this index HTML and replace it with our own index HTML. So please don't get confused. It's actually simple. What we did was just bring in bootstrap CDN, font awesome CDN, bootstrap icon, and also the script. Simple as that. We didn't actually do anything much, okay? So compare compare our former HTML with the new one, then you see that we didn't do anything much, okay? So please do not get confused with this. What we just did was bring in some links at the top and also some scripts at the bottom. Good, right? So when you have that, if you get back to materials, frontend code slash source, and you come over to views, core, index JSX, and you copy everything that we have in this index JSS, come over to, then you come over to views. Um, okay, I think I actually missed that again. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder called core and I'll create a new file called index.jsx and we paste everything that we just copied down here. Now, there's gonna be some, some issues because header doesn't exist for now, footer doesn't exist for now. So yep, that's gonna break our code. So I want you to comment that out, okay? Also scroll all the way to the bottom and comment out footer. Then save your code. And now let's see how it looks. So over here, Let's see, I'm gonna refresh this page. And can you see, this is what we have. Look at it, let me zoom out. Wow, I'm actually zoomed in a lot. So this is what we have, can you see? This is our pagination, this is trading articles, this is latest articles, and all this. Look at all this and those dummy data coming in. And in a very short time, we'll start making API calls to the back end, fetching information and displaying them over here. But for now, hopefully you get the idea of what we are doing. We just need to bring in all the templates that we will be needing here, okay? So now what I want you to do is this. If you see the material front end views, click on the views and copy this URL here. See this URL? Just highlight, Control A, Control C, copy it. Then I want you to come over to this website called techhelpbd.com slash git down okay so tech help bd.com slash git down you can pause the video and zoom that in to see it clearly then i want you to paste the link that you copied in here and then hit download 
And then I want you to press this download button here and you will see that that has downloaded it to our system. Okay, so this is just a way that you could use to, okay, this was the one I wanted to use before, but I was getting an issue that says it's dangerous. So I, I had to skip using this and find another one that is more safe. So this is a way that you could use to download individual folders from GitHub. That is if you don't want to keep downloading all the whole Git repo onto your system just to get one file. I hope this makes sense. So when you have downloaded this, you can now gently hop over to your downloaded, um, which is this one, I think. Yeah, this is it over here. And now this are, these are all the files, right? I will copy all this, highlight everything and copy them. Then I will, I will then come over to my Django React blog, front end, source, and views yep delete this one okay then i'll paste everything that i've copied down here boom there you go so this is what we have right now if we now open up our code you can now see that we that the index js is still coming in there you go with footer and everything so you can now see the odds this is create password forgot password login logout all these are pure pure jsx you can still call it html if you want but you can see we are pretty much using html tags over here no functionality no react functionality no backend functionality okay so please don't think that you've missed out that we are not coding anything and everything is being done just by copying and pasting no that is not what we're doing we're pretty much bringing in the dummy template that we want to use because i didn't actually make a separate video where i wrote out all this code by the way, if you're looking to learn HTML or CSS and you need a crash course or a masterclass course here on YouTube, then you could drop a comment in the comment section below and I will make a crash course well detailed that explains HTML, CSS. I could even in include beginner JavaScript and make it into a full-blown web development bootcamp. There will be a lot of projects like a portfolio, a blog, a notepad, a to-do list, a news aggregator, a chat app, or HTML, CSS, front end, okay? No back end. So let me know if you're interested in that and I'll go ahead and do that. So right now, this is everything that we have. If you happen to come over to your index again, now you can see our header is coming in place. Our footer is coming in place. Only that our logos seems to be missing. Okay. So you could go ahead and replace the logos. Let me open this on a new tab. See our logo is missing. So don't worry, we'll change, change up all this later. So with all this stuff, that is it. Now, one more thing that I want us to do is open up the GitHub and I want you to open up the app JSX for any of this. And I just want you to import all this that we have. Okay, so import all this at the top of your own app, the JSX, which is here. Okay, these are all the, these are pretty much everything that we have created. So let me see, why are we getting this index error here? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's because of the, the file name. Don't worry, that's not breaking anything. We'll fix that later. So what I pretty much did is import all the components that I've created before, you see? And now let's register them just like we registered this index. So what we have to do now is duplicate this one, change it to DDO, and change the name here to DDO. If you don't want to do all this one after the other, you already have the code, okay? So please don't stress yourself out. Just take this, just take this too and put it here. Since you already know how to do it, you already know what the code does, you could just take it and put it in here, okay? Except if you enjoy typing it out, then yeah, you could go ahead and type it out. And after we've done all that, if we get back here, it seems like we have an issue. Yep, seems like we have an issue. So let's see what is going on. I'll reload my page. Let me check out my, let me check out the console. So yeah, it says main wrapper is, isn't defined. That is because we need to import it again. So import main wrapper from dot dot slash source slash layout slash main wrapper. So when I imported everything over here at the top, I mistakenly deleted main wrapper. But now it should be working. So if you click on login, you see, we have come to the login page. 
click on register there you go we have the register page you click on category there you go category page about us contacts dashboard this should load up a map and dashboard should open up the dashboard page and post page add post page where you can create a new post and um, comments page notification and profile so congratulations guys we have set up everything that we will be needing to start working with this tutorial or start working with the api in the next video we'll get started working with i don't know what is the first thing that we should work work on maybe we can work on the authentication or we can even just work on the the fetch call fetch posts or we can work on the dashboard we can work on anything that we want okay so we'll decide that in the next video and then we'll start off with it hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new do make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and also i would highly recommend that you consider checking out one of the courses in the description below as one of them there will help you become a better react js developer check it out on blog the app to really mean a lot to me and also it will help you build websites faster efficiently and also streamline your development process by providing you with easy to use templates blocks and web components for bootstrap tailwind boomer materialize and even pure css to just help make your development and your next project a banger i hope to see you in the next video and until then mad love peace out